Electric Potential Example. We're going to step through an example that's not your typical, just throw out a bunch of numbers and dimensions kind of example. We're starting off with a picture, a very realistic picture of the electric field between two very strange objects. And the color bar to the right tells us the magnitude of the electric field. The little arrow shows us the direction. And given that, the question here is, what is the potential difference between these two objects? So VAB, what is that? To do this, we need to use our line integral. And remember how this is defined. The voltage AB, which is the potential at B minus the potential at A, we find that through a line integration of the electric field dot DL. So line integral of electric field from A to B. That path can be anything. So I've drawn three options here. For our purposes, I think the ideal path is one where the electric field is roughly constant and roughly always tangential to the line. That way the dot product is a lot easier and it'll reduce to just a scalar multiplication. So what about this path? Is that a good path? Well, I think it's a pretty good path. The electric field is roughly constant over the whole thing. I know it gets a little bit more intense as it approaches the objects and it's pretty much tangential the whole way. So I think we can get a pretty good estimate of the potential difference between these two objects using that path. So let's start with our line integral, our E dot DL, since the path we've chosen has the field tangential and the electric field is roughly constant, we can just write that as magnitude of E times the scalar differential length. And so by integrating that from A to B, we simply get the magnitude of E or the average value along this path times L, that's the length of that line. And of course, there's this negative sign here to keep our sign convention, which says the electric field will start at a higher potential and point towards the lower potential. So let's estimate L and visually we can take this path and just move it down to the x-axis so we can see how big it is. And lining that up, it looks roughly 1.7. At 1.7 what? We haven't written the units here, so let's call this meters. To estimate E, I'll pick a value a little bit off center, so it's a little bit higher here, and, and that'll be roughly the average all the way across. And I think that will be around seven volts. So then the voltage AB is minus magnitude of E times L. We derived that a couple slides ago. That's minus seven times 1.7, and we get minus 11.9 volts. Call it 12 volts, minus 12 volts. Why the negative sign? Remember the definition, it is VB minus VA. So we're going to look at the potential here at VB and subtract the potential here at VA. So if VA is the higher potential, the bigger number, so we have small number minus a bigger number, we will get a negative number. And so that's what that is implying. It's simply implying that VA is the higher potential.